That thing you see attached to the solar panel is the Life Power A3. This is a very nice power bank from a Belgium company. When I say from, I mean designed by them and made in China, of course. The thing is, I need to fix something in my unit, so let's go with the teardown. I'm going to start with a little cleanup. This is all garbage. So this is the unit itself, it's really nice, well built, and the problem is with the green LED, it doesn't light, the green LED is like the indicator for that port, the um, AC output, so it's quite important, it's not a vital indicator, but anyways. So I'm going to start with a little heat, 100, 100 maybe. This is to soften the uh, glue in the rubber fits because I want to reuse them, I don't have replacements. Um, so they come up quite easy. I really hate to reuse the, the pads, but... Next one, on the final one, I had to raise the temperature to 120 degrees, and that seems to be okay. There's a little damage in the glue here, like small, small damage. So next you have to extract four screws. The company recommends not opening the power bank, but I contacted them and they feel like my desk is completely messy, so they trust me. The thing is, don't open yours. Uh, you're going to lose the warranty, you, uh, the universe is going to explode, blah, blah, blah. The sleeve is quite hard to remove. You have to pull and pull, like, from side to side. You can see a, a big asshole. Mm. Doesn't smell like a um, burn, so it's like, maybe like a Belgium quality hole or something. Okay, so four more screws. And we're in. So this is the tool marks you can see from the CNC of the mold. It's quite rough, but who cares? That's the hole. I have no idea. Maybe it's like a bad uh, injection molding. This is the circuit. It's like a three-layer contraction. I don't like a lot. I like how the... Um, the transformer is really near the output, but I mean, it's probably okay. They have like a um, temperature sensor on each side of the cells. I don't like either that um, glue down uh, thing, the heat sink. There's no wire in it, so I'm going to try with a coin cell to light the red and light the green to check the connections. It doesn't seem faulty. So this is the PCV. That's the first layer of the three layers. The wiring is like this, this is the um, green light and this is the red. They share the same traces and the polarity controls which one is on. Like you can see, they use like the diode property of the LED. But what happens if the, that one is faulty, like it's, it's a leaky LED. You're going to get the artifacts I am getting. 
I need to choose a new SMD LED. Mm, I think like red is too boring. I need to use a new color to make my unit unique. So I choose um, yellow. So I need to match the polarity of the yellow LED with the red LED in this case. Because the green one is not faulty. I mean, there's two green ones, so it's almost impossible to that the green is the faulty one. So in this case, I'm going to replace the the red with the with the yellow. This is perfect, so I need to desolder the old one. I'm going to use a low melting point solder. I'm going to cover the thing because it's actually live. So a little dab of the solder in each part. gone and then I need to clean the pads a little flux and shoulder wick <coughs> a healthy cancer smoke um, alcohol for cleaning soldering the new one is really easy like barely touching the contacts and then a little more solder and, and I think we are over green, we have green so it's perfect off, green off green seems completely perfect so i can't i need to close it a little humidity so it rust no clearly I'm, I'm blowing some small particles You have plastic threads, you need to be really gentle. What I do is go uh, counterclockwise and find the thread and then clockwise. Slide the sleeve again. We sold the four more screws outside with the same technique because they are the plastic is kind of weak, so be gentle. And finally the rubber pads. I really hate to reuse the, the pads because like when you put the thing in the sleeve it's going to drag the rubber and okay final testing and it seems to work so okay bye bye